Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pass Easter Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us today. We're going to be checking out a game called Pod from Altered Ventures. Um, this is actually a game provided by this, uh, the developers, so consider this free product. Free product! Beep, 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 beep. Um, but I actually get to check out the game. It's a smaller indie developers uh, do provide game to us on a regular enough basis. So I'd actually like to check out their games for um, entertainment value. Some of them are actually absolutely amazing. Some of them are okay. Some of them can be a little bit if. Um, but hey, that's the whole point. You develop, you change, you design games, and you see if they're actually going to be fun and for people to play. Let's just jump in here and get this dude out. Uh, the only thing I'm concerned about is if the audio from our wonderful music suppliers at Pretzel will actually fade out correctly, but we'll see that in just a second whenever the game loads in. Just checking. Okay. It does help if the game actually itself has a um, soundtrack. If it doesn't, then this will be the case. So we'll actually just need to cut it out. Ah, there we go. Food. I do love the theme tune itself. It's actually quite... It's quite melancholic. Glad enjoying a video game that provides a good melancholy. Alright. does not. It actually does not use the D-pad at all. Interesting. Um, hold hands, magnetize, uh, jump, pick up, face, swap. Oh, this is going to be a simple kind of walkie thon -y kind of platformer? Looks like it, or you actually have to run with a partner at all times. Pode, pode, pode. upon a star it don't matter who you are dressing I'm stone boy I'm star boy and I miss my home don't worry buddy we'll get you back home So it literally is just an explanation of how they're going to get them. Um, that's what they're going to do next. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, um, it, it is play, don't tell, which is actually always a good thing in video games. But, um, obviously we got ourselves to do a little bit of a intro. I assume it's going to be tutorial-esque. Interesting. That was a very happy little spark. Such a happy little spark. Aren't you so happy? Is that open sesame? That's the way to avoid your um, <laughs> loadings. It's actually to have it actually grow as you go through. Ah, so you can choose which one you're controlling. Yeah, hold hands. Come here. Okay, maybe not. Take me into the dark area. Okay. You won't let me go without him? Don't leave my body behind! Will you go without him? No, I won't go without him. Alright. Do I have to walk each one of them? I thought that was a whole hold hands thing that allowed me to do either. There we go. 
you have to walk both of them to a location before you actually can move on. Interesting. Would that make sense for actually how you uh, exit a room? You can't leave one behind. Interesting. So you make rocks grow. And he makes plants grow. I'm assuming that's where the platforming comes from. So literally each room is going to be one of these kind of like light or dark puzzles that you actually activate something along the way. Makes sense. So wait. Gonna be you, is it? There you go. Light all the things. Jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. Jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Your frame drop shouldn't be happening on the game like that. If I can happily see that on my stream, maybe, but no, not on the game. Uh, so you know, like essentially walk to the end of the room, and that's what says like, "Hey, you want to come with?" Yeah, that exactly. Yeah. But it doesn't let you leave until both of them are actually within range of the exit. Uh, it would help if I could do that whole hand holding thing that they kind of showed me. That that would be cool, you know. It said it was actually in the options screen, but no. Oh, God. <laughs> Charging. Give me a second. I'll control from here. Simple and beautiful puzzling. All this is. And up you go. No. Oh, wait, hang on. Do it the other way. You can actually jump up here. And here. No? Yo, McSwigs, how's it going? Thank you very much for joining us on stream here. Ah, there we go. Ah, and then you actually like activate a puzzle and then take it with you. Makes sense. Check something here because I want to make sure the audio doesn't lag in from the music. There we go. And make sure I press all the buttons. All right, so I need to get up there and then that one glow to take it across. Boom, boom, boom. Take you with me. Up you. Two. Oh, three. Ah. Okay, well, that's not going to work. <laughs> Hang on. What? What game am I playing? This game is Pode. It was actually provided me by the developers. Um, it's recently out on Steam, Xbox, and PlayStation. Ah, that's what I need to do. So I need to... That's how you carry. You essentially just jump on and carry that way. Makes sense. Uh, what? Okay. There we go. That was it. Figured out what I needed to do there. Since you just need to jump up in some way, shape, or form. All right. So literally, I don't know if I was meant to do it that way, but at least it allows me to glide down with the um, other character. So stone guy falls hard, light guy falls slow. There we go. Understood. 
That's how you play it. Puzzles aren't going to be that... Uh, they're just going to... All of these tend to actually be as like, Oh, I just figured out the little rule that I have to have for this. Like every single poor old game or... Um, puzzle game kind of that plays with a simple mechanic that you repeat and until it just maybe gets just at the point of frustration maybe you come up there do that i can fit through that hole come out here this if you need to come over here ah shit so whenever you glow with M, it actually slows you down, but it doesn't happen otherwise. We're playing McSwigs. That's cool. Ah! Frustration. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to just go over here and finish off this a little bit first. Ah, uh, that's a door to get out what I'm looking for. Hang on, son. Am I getting this wrong? Because I'm not meant... I think I may have to actually go over here first. I may have this completely wrong. Much appreciated, man. Just throw me an image and... Um, messenger or so on. Ah, uh, see, he can't get up without... Having that guy there, so he needs to jump on top of him to get up there in the first place. That's why I can't have that all the way. There we go. I knew there was a reason. Now I'm only trying to get across to this now. Nice. Uh, 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 uh. And I want to jump and glide to here. Climb up that, can you? Why am I meant to get up from here? Um, let me puzzle up. I'm meant to do this, you up there, and get you on top of this, and then get you over here to do that. Ah, uh, right, right, right. That means now you can jump up here. Oh god. Well, if you fall, it means you can jump to there, and that gives you the way up. Makes so much sense. Logic. Once you find it, it works. Ugh. That perception and 3D puzzling jumpers. Uh, oh. I. I'm only able to stand on those platforms, am I? Oh God, I can just jump through them that way. You dokey? There's going to be alarms to remind me of the time while I'm actually on the stream here. Um. Aren't they happy together? They made it on to the next place. Well done to you people! Um... Code is sure it's, it's it's cheerful, it's sweet, it's beautiful. I realize my keys a little bit off on the screen. Now, let me see if I can fix that quickly while we're in the screen here. Um, hang on just a moment. <laughs> Fine, guys, you you go on ahead and play without me. Let's see here. Webcam fix filters. E room key. Remember the corner that I was annoyed with anyway? At least now it's actually not um, sitting up there in the corner, blocking part of the gameplay. It's just down here in this corner that I still need to sort out, which just means I need to put a light point down here. It's just too dark in this corner. Either way, hold hands, folks. Aww, beautiful moment! And they made it. And thus we completed the tutorial!
So if you hadn't figured out so far, what it actually is, is uh, Block Boy and Star Girl want to actually get back up to the sky to take Star Girl home. So Block Boy is going to help Star Girl get there. It's it's a tale as old as time, a song as old as rhyme. It's Stony and the Star. Hmm, what's this? Ooh. You can actually quick travel. So what am I meant to do here? Oh, very nice. Ah, uh, okay. So I can actually grow everything in here. Growy, 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 growy. It's all nice and shiny. Look behind a tree! And this is essentially the hub world that allows you to pick each place you want to go to. So we'll send you go to what is ostensibly world one. Take a wee look at a couple of levels in here and see what we got in front of us. Okay. React. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> it made you a lot bigger. <laughs> He's just a ah, didn't mean to ingest that again. Ow. Bloom. Bloom, bloom. What's that? All right. All right, so that's then she taught us the block puzzles of things open whenever you put them together. Turn them around. So, first puzzle, congratulations. I feel like I'm really achieving stuff with this game. But, uh... So I, I'm, I might be giving it a little bit of a hard flack, but it's too bad. Off together. Rock boy, come here. Why, thank you very much, ginger guy. I grew it myself. <laughs> thank you very much for joining us. I feel like most of this game can just be played by actually just holding L and R together. And then just anything you have to do. Otherwise, you just kind of individually add it. Um, what? <laughs> um, what? Mark. You're too late, Star Girl. Oh, you go. That's blomped. Okay. Rotates around. So where is my second block to hold that still? Because Starboy is not going to do it for me. Doesn't weigh enough. Be able to open that? Really? Give that a try. Ah, right. And that freezes it in place, does it? It doesn't. Eh. Is there another block in here somewhere? I'm curious about. Actually, it would have affected to keep it in, keep it in place, but no, there doesn't appear to be a second block in here. Has anybody got a quick idea of how this would be solved? 
because I'm looking around here and going like, all right, I should not be stumped by such an early puzzle. Wait, what? There's be like an icon here. Read your code that's on the wall, motherfuckers. We maybe just stopping this early just because I could not think of what else to do next. <laughs> um Oh, this is actually co-op if you actually had two player? Interesting. Well, that's sweet. You can actually play this together with somebody. No other blocks here, is there? I mean, I'm just gonna take it on a quick look. Oh, wait! Oh, massive case of herb derp! Never mind, I'll get that. So they're actually, uh, whatever's available in the room will stay available. So you once they unlocked an area, you won't have to worry about it. Got it, got it, got it, good. Problem solved. Did not think you could actually do that. Well, at least that's, at least, I know I know for future tense, and if any of you guys ever want to check out Pode, remember, everything in the room is still valid and useful until you leave. Well, isn't that? Sweet. They did so well. So well together. Right. Um, I might just take a... I'm, I'm literally going to do this last one. That'll be our finished experience for food for now. Soon we actually just stay over here for a wee bit longer and that'll actually give us a couple of risers. Yep. And it's lit up, that'll be the things that actually will interact. Oh, that was our thing there. Didn't even pay attention to it. Stargirl? Yes, I can! Oh, I didn't even realize that! Ah! ah, right, that's how you get it to come. Part with your light. Obviously. Why wouldn't you think that way? <laughs> so literally every little iteration kind of gives you another idea of how other powers interact together, which is a, which is good level design. Um, I actually don't, I don't dislike this in any way she performed. Um, but uh, it's going to be more of the same as we continue on. Uh, Pode is available to actually play now on PlayStation 4, on Vita, on Xbox, and on Steam. You can actually pick it up for fairly cheap, and I recommend checking it out, just for the fact, if you like a good co-op puzzle experience, there's actually be two things you can sit down and just do with your friend or um, significant other. It's got beautiful music. It actually has a simple but endearing storyline. The characters are chirpy and cute. So, um, yeah, a, a good co-op campaign actually doesn't go... It does, it does, 
it doesn't it doesn't challenge because you have two minds working out on at the same time you're both engaged with the actual puzzles so you can actually fly through this fairly quickly from what i can actually tell from the materials that were sent to me with the game it's um it's a short experience but an entertaining experience while you explore the world and then you've got collectibles and stuff if you wanted to 100 percent this so of course there's always the achievements and everything else to go after if you're that that way inclined otherwise just help star War, star girl get back home again that's what the, that's what the premise of the story is so if you happen to enjoy this and you enjoy the melancholy of it then feel free to actually check out all the stuff that'll be popping up around the screen around me on the youtube channel um and also be subscribe button sitting here right over the top of the face and of course the bell underneath if you need to get notifications if you happen to actually like the stuff and would like to support it there's usually links underneath the videos that allow you to actually support without spending a single penny of your own money on me if you're buying other stuff it might actually just tie in with the fact that i might make a little bit of cash from it as well uh without any cost to you or if you're actually well, that way inclined for actually supporting people who make stuff on YouTube, there's also patreon.com forward slash past Easter skin. Please feel free to support and spread the love. And if you can't even do that, then just share a video that you might enjoy. Because I look forward to seeing them floating around in other places. I would always, uh, the big joy or ex excitement in life would be to actually see a video of mine's shared back at me going like, have you seen this guy? And I'm like, motherfucker, I am that guy. That'd be awesome. So uh, feel free to do that. I would actually really like that. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.